it's Nikita with some of the adventures YouTube channel welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel if you can please click on that subscribe button like and comment down below if you like our recipe and I figured I'd share one of our most popular amongst our friends and families um, recipe for a salmon Wellington being an Alaska native here in Alaska I always try to find new and exciting recipes to cook our salmon because we have a bountiful amount that we are lucky enough to gather as subsistence here in Alaska. So to start off, you're gonna wanna wash your leeks and cut it into thin slices. You're not gonna wanna include the rough and hardy green pieces. You're just gonna want to cut up the white pieces of your leeks and then you will measure out four tablespoons of your butter. And guys, don't worry, I've included all of the ingredients down below. So if you wanna check out our description for those ingredients for this recipe, go for it. I just really wanted to incorporate and include on how to make and create this salmon wellington. So I hope you guys enjoy. Next up, you're gonna to want to skin the salmon. And to be honest, it doesn't have to be beautiful because it's all gonna be shoved into the puff pastry. But my trick is that I typically go from the tail to the head and then I will angle the knife downwards. Not too much or you'll cut into the skin. But yeah, play around with it. And then here we're just deboning. Once again, the filet does not need to be anywhere near pretty. It's all going to be within the Wellington. So no stress about that. That's what I kind of like about this recipe, to be honest, is it doesn't have to be beautiful filet. And here we're just gonna be melting down some butter with some leeks and then as they are starting to soften, you're gonna want to add in your pinch of nutmeg, a little bit of salt and pepper, and you're going to want to saute the leeks down into a soft state. You don't want them to be any crunchiness or anything like that. They have to be nice and soft. This adds a really nice flavor to your salmon wellington. And this process takes a little bit of time, so after they're done cooking and softening, you're going to want to set it aside, let it cool down to about room temperature. Next, after the leeks have softened, you're going to want to add in that minced garlic. You don't want to cook the garlic or you'll cook the flavor out, but you'll just put it in there for about 30 seconds and then take the leeks off and let it cool down. And while your leeks are cooling down to room temperature, you'll want to set your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and get your puff pastry out. So you're going to want to roll out the puff pastry a little bit just to fit all of the salmon within the puff pastry and including enough room to cut slits into. So here we layer the salmon. Um, First we'll put a filet down and then you can use whatever seasonings you feel is necessary. I personally like salt and pepper, dill, and a cedar plank seasoning. It just helps bring out some yummy flavors of the salmon. Once your leeks have cooled down to a reasonable temperature, you're going to want to strain out any excess butter. This prevents any of the oil seeping out of your fish wellington and possibly burning the bottom of your wellington. So sometimes I do this with if it's really buttery, sometimes I just kind of skip it. It really is up to you and your judgment and how you cut your salmon wellington slits at the end of it. But here we drain some of the butter out, and then we'll add it on top of that first layer of salmon. are almost finished guys and so for the last few steps of the salmon wellington you're going to want to add that 
remaining salmon pieces and then you'll want to cut approximately one to one and a half inches uh, slit into your puff pastry and make sure you don't cut too closely to the bottom fillet there to maintain all the juices within the puff pastry and leave enough room on the end pieces to fold over and you're going to want to braid those pieces, which is really just alternating each piece on each side until you complete all of the pieces. Once you've finished your braid on your salmon wellington, you're going to want to make that milk and egg wash to put on top to give that really beautiful golden crusty crunch to salmon wellington as well as keep those braids held together. something and then you're going to want to put it in the oven for about 28 minutes. I have found that if I bake it on this darker sheet I get more of a crunchy crust slightly toasted to extra. <laughs> so if you have a glass or a lightly colored sheet you're going to want to probably omit this dark sheet or you could just cook it directly on the soap pan. Here we're cutting into this deliciousness. You guys, I promise you, it is so good. The slight oniony flavor of the leeks mixed in with the salmon. It keeps it so moist and so delicious. And I hope you guys give it a try. Let me know if you make it and please share our recipe. I hope you enjoyed watching this pretty quick tutorial on how to make the salmon wellington. And please feel free to subscribe and like our channel. Thanks guys.